Hello and welcome to this video and this is probably going to be one of the shortest videos that I upload this year but it's really talking about how to import simulated data into the new Race Studio 3 analysis software. Now previously, and let's head over to Race Studio 3 so I can show you what we're talking about, previously you would have had to have gone up to this little icon here, clicked here, gone into the conversion of files and gone through the process that we talked about a couple of years ago when this functionality originally uh, was created. However, one of the things that's really exciting about the new software is that the system will do that for you. To show you how to do that, all you need to do is to click here on this little cog, click on import, go into import files, find the files that you want to bring in. So for example, here I have telemetry. This is actually the folder in iRacing that logs all of the telemetry data. If you want to learn how to do this and switch it on, please click uh, on this playlist up here that has a series of videos on how to be able to log the data in iRacing and then uh, bring it into uh, the AIM software. This is an enhancement to that, bring it into the AIM software and showing you how to do it. All you need to do is then click on whichever one it need be, and these are the IBT files. So this is raw data from iRacing and click on open. The system will then do all of that work previously that we had to go through in terms of conversion of files. And over a little bit of time, this is quite a, a big file. I think I was running a, a race at Daytona. Uh, you can see here that here it is. It's just appeared. I can exit here. I can click up here and there is the file. It will show you the lap times that were done, all of the same things that are there. And you can notice that if I click here, load profile, let's go to the iRacing one. Uh, you can see that all of a sudden, all of the information we're looking for is available immediately here in the file brought in that easily. So uh, anyone who's using the Race Studio 3 analysis software with your files from iRacing, it's as simple as that. And so uh, if you like this video, uh, uh, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe because we've got a ton of videos this year on how to be able to use the new Race Studio 3 analysis software, in particular starting to look at aspects of analysis. And with that, I'll say thanks so much for watching this extremely short video.